wafting hook baits. Plays a massive part in my angling, whether I'm at a busy day to get lake or the syndicate. Some people struggle getting them set up, so I'm gonna give you a few tips on how I do it, and hopefully it's gonna put a few more fish in the bank for you. So with me today, I've got three different types of wafter. We've got the pastel barrel wafter, which comes in various washed out colors. We've got the balance wafter, and new to the range, we've got the cork dust wafter. Now I've got three different types of wafter here, but they all work on the same principle, providing you with a critically balanced bait that's gonna sink slowly and react very quickly to feeding fish. Each one of these balanced wafters contains a small amount of buoyancy. It's very important that the hook or the rig contains enough weight to counterbalance that buoyancy. I've got three rigs I'm gonna show you here and how I balance my wafter hook baits. First off, very simple KD rig. This rig's getting all its counterbalance properties from the hook. And I want the rig and hook bait sitting just like that. Next up, I've got not much in the way of counterbalance from the hook bait or the hook, but more importantly, you'll see where the braid comes off the shank of the hook there. It's in the middle, giving it more of a off the point type presentation, nice and poised, ready for a fish to come along. Next up, I've got probably my favorite and go-to rig a lot of the time is the IQD rig. This rig is getting all of its counterbalance properties from a heavy hook and also two bits of putty placed on the hook link itself, which is gonna give me a very heavy hook and the hook bait just wafting over the top. Now the IQD rig is a very heavy presentation. We've got a heavy hook there, quite a large hook bait as well, and it's perfect for fishing over a clean bottom. Next rig, I like to fish this one on a clean bottom also, but it will fish very effectively on light siltweed. Fish are not feeding so hard. Another great little rig with a small hook bait. They're gonna find that and suck that up hopefully. And next off, it's a very simple rig and it fishes over a multitude of bottoms. It can be clean, it can be silk weedy, it can even be a little bit choddy. And that will sit very lightly over them sort of situations. You've seen my three favorite presentations. Yours may be slightly different, which could in turn affect the counterbalance of the wafter. So I'm gonna show you a few little tweaks you can do to get that rig sitting perfect. Firstly, you could add a little bit of putty nearer to the hook to get that counterbalance perfect. Secondly, you could change the hook size, say for instance, to a size six, to a size four. Alternative to that, you could change your hook bait size from a 15 mil to a 12 mil. You can also use a slightly larger wafter, say an 18 mil, whittle down the edges until you get that perfect balanced wafter effect. But more importantly, you always check your rigs in the margin before casting out. So there you go, you see my rig presentations and how I like to do it. You take a few of these little tips and tricks into your fishing, hopefully you'll put a few more fish on the bank.